Welcome back, I hope you've all had a really good week. Uh, so this week what we're going to be doing is are you and your person going to reunite? It's a bit like reconciliation but we're going down the reunite line. Uh, we haven't done a re reconciliation one for ages so uh, someone said about it last week and I thought yeah we'll go with that. So this is going to be deck number one. This is going to one. Two. It's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, so if anything doesn't resonate, uh, remember it for a later date because it'll probably come up then, or it's possible that you're not part of the strongest mutual energy and you might need to book a reading. So number one and number two, my guide is saying can you go where your uh, solar plexus energy is pulling you, so two inches above your belly button if you get a gut pull towards a deck. Number one and number two, don't go over your heart, don't go over your head, try and go over your gut instinct. One, two, okay. And if you're not sure, it could be that parts of both are going to resonate with you, so uh, you might want to watch Bill. Okay, let's go. So, can you get me in to deck number one's energy, please? There's my dog. I tried to get her on my lap, but she's dead camera shy. Um, so you try to put her on your lap, and she sees the camera and knows I'm talking, and she, she hides away, she does a runner. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into their people's energy? Let's get into the people's energy. All the people watching. Can we get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all choices, chances, changes potential and probable outcomes please okay and let's pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all let's go deck's ready okay can you tell me what will the people watching and their person reunite so as i said at the start as always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all so if anything doesn't resonate it could be because you're not part of the strongest mutual energy that everyone else is or that um it will come up at a later date as as it does Readings will be timeless because there's no such thing as time for psychics. That's why we can delve into the past, the present and the future. Will they really reunite? Will they reunite? How many do you want? Nine. Nine. That's good. And let's get one more. Woo! Just one. Just been listening to Gloria Groove. <laughs> She's in my head. That's not clairvoyant message, uh, clairaudient message. It is just Gloria Groove going around my head. Okay. So, so, so sorry. Let's, let's go. Are you ready? So, you and your person are at a bit of a stalemate. Nothing is really happening. Uh, you're getting fed up they're not doing anything about the situation it's actually really starting to get on your wick which means irritate you if you're not from england and um, there is this kind of sta stagnant hanged man energy nothing of much is really happening and um, one second you lot watching feel that something is about to happen you can feel it in your energy my dog's toy you can feel it in your energy you can feel it in your knowing um, and then when you get that feeling it's like nothing actually happens from the situation and you start to go you know what am i making this whole and we're making this all up your person is in this stagnant energy at the moment and um, they're weighing up their choices and they're weighing up the decisions and they're feeling quite trapped by the situation what they're doing is they're kind of hot they are still holding on to the situation with you and um, they're holding on to the past they're holding on to what's kind of happened from their past as well as the past with you um, and they've kind of got this block up with regard to moving forward towards you at this moment in time so we have a Pops, puppy, stop. Um, they have got this stagnant energy around them. They're feeling a bit fed up with the whole situation. Uh, so a lot of them have just either withdrawn or backed away or ghosting you or have said, no, you know what? I don't need this shit anymore. I am done. Okay, um, and this is what's made this stagnant energy come forward and you guys are getting fed up with it because you're thinking, well, surely if they really cared, they'd have done something by now. The reason why they haven't done something like by now is because they're very, very confused. Okay, so they basically got their knickers into a bit of a twist, as I say. They've got themselves um, 
confused by the situation because they don't know how to move it forward. Some of them have thought, right, I've made my bed, I'm gonna lie in it. Some of them are going down the line of what will be, will be. Um, and some of them are just being idiots and not actually doing anything about the situation at this moment in time. Now, Spirit is saying the good news is that there is definitely a few of you that will hear from a person in the next two weeks, okay? That's not all of you, there's a couple of you watching this that will hear from your person in the next two weeks. The rest of you, it's gonna be a little bit longer. Um, but they've got themselves confused, they've got themselves in this stagnant energy and you're just there waiting to see if anything is going to happen okay um they know that they have to make a number of choices about the situation they know that if they don't act in the not too distant future there's the potential that they will lose you but they also equally feel a little bit comfortable with the relationship and feel that um you will always be there to pick up the phone for them because they know how you feel about them. So if you're thinking, oh, they don't know how I feel, if they knew how I feel, they'd make moves. They do know how you feel, but they are just in this very stagnant, sticky, stock energy. What will happen is that you've got this period of, my favorite card in the whole of tarot, you've got this period of temperance. That was really sarcastic. <laughs> Okay, so temperance, nothing is happening just yet, but what will happen is this tower is going to hit. So your person is going to trot along and pretend that everything is fine, that they're moving forward with their life and that, you know, that they can cope, they can live, they can do what they want, I can have a breath of fresh air from the whole thing. And then it's gonna hit them like a, a hole in the head, okay? And this tower card is gonna come in. So they're gonna have this wake up call, they're gonna have this reality check, um, and they're gonna think, shit, I've lost them. Um, is there a way that I can come back to them? And with the kind of skull underneath, that signal line, you know, it kind of shows to me the death card, okay? It's gonna be the end of the period of this stagnation. So this, they will have this wake up call, they will have this tower. How is this tower gonna hit? Um, Spirit is saying, they said this in someone's private reading the other day, they asked how would, they, how would it happen? Like a bull in a china shop, okay? It's just gonna hit them out of nowhere. Uh, is there anything that's gonna be causing that? A lot of it is gonna be spiritual energy. A lot of it is gonna be, oh my God, panic, loss, worry, concern, and it's just gonna be a matter of timing, really, um, that this tower moment is really gonna hit them and this period of temperance of balancing, of not doing anything will come to a close and it will come to quite an ab abrupt close. So you're not gonna feel like anything is really happening at this moment in time. Um, and that's because right now there isn't much really going on. Um, but once this period, this tower hits them, this is gonna give them that reality check that they need. Therefore, the ending of the cycle will happen. Okay, so the, the period of stagnation, again, when this tower moment hits, they're going to have this wake-up call, they're going to have this reality check, they're going to have this panic that they've lost you, um, and that cycle will then come to a close, okay, and that is when this movement towards you is going to be made uh, with the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun, okay, so the period of stagnation will end, um, and you guys have then got a chance of things moving in the right direction. You have your happy outcomes over here. You have your victory over here and you have things turning in your direction here. Now, what Spirit are telling me with this is when your person does get back in touch with you, it is really important that you start trying to work together to break the cycle, okay? Because it has been a cyclical energy. It has been a sticky energy. Um, and when they come back, you're not gonna want that to happen again. So we need to get you into that very powerful queen slash king of swords energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific. We need to get you into that power-based energy so that you're not just spewing word vomit at them and it's falling on deaf ears. Then we need to really get that power-based energy up, okay? Um, and once you're in that power, this is when it will move in your favour, when you're not chasing them, when you're backtracking, when you're in your power and they're messaging and you're, you're taking hours to respond. That power-based energy will move the situation forward in your favour. If it kind of goes back down the same route that it was and they start going a little bit distance with you, let them, let them go let them distance themselves, they will come back. It's an elastic band, okay? So what happens, and it is, um, now this works with um, men, it's the psychological side of men. But again, remember we work with energy, so it's never sexually orientated or gender specific. So the male energy, i.e. your person, um, what happens is the psychological side of things, and men are like elastic bands or rubber bands, or whatever you wanna call them. And they start to pull away from you, okay? And if you start pulling them back, 
they can't stretch as far enough as they need to. Now what happens when they pull us to their maximum capacity, they pull as far away as they can, they will bounce back towards you, they will come back towards you. Reasons why it happens is just part of the psychology of men. It is, um, if you look into it, rubber band theory and male energies, or males, um, you'll, you'll see that it's like psychological principles and they have this rubber band effect and they will pull away to come back. But if you keep chasing them, what will happen is the rubber band won't stretch to its maximum capacity. So you're not gonna get what you want from it you're just going to be chasing the rubber band and the rubber band's going to keep moving further away so it's really important again to get into that queen slash king of swords energy being that power based energy if they start to distance themselves let them because they will bounce back towards you and from there you are going to be the one in control and you are going to be the one that calls the shots and you are going to be the one that says whether you want this to happen or not so there is a really good chance over here with these three cards that you will reunite that you'll have this other chance together but it's just not quite yet okay because they're stagnating the energy it's stagnant um because of this element of massive confusion thinking that it's over stressing that it's it's you know it's too much stress they can't cope with it and um, equally spirit are saying uh, that they don't want to hurt you Okay, so if your person has just ghosted you and, um, I don't know, say for an example, you found out that they're dating someone else, um, the reason why they haven't told you is because firstly, they don't want to hurt you and secondly, they want to keep that door open. That if it doesn't work out, they can come back. Now, they will still come back anyway, even if they are with someone else. That reuniting is still on the cards, literally. Um, but you've got to give them that space to let them wander back. Don't chase them. Don't call them. Let them come to you. Let them wonder what you're up to and what you're doing. Um, Art of Seduction is quite a good book as well for you lot, deck number one. So yeah, there is a really good chance you will reunite, but we need to get you into that power-based energy. And once you're in that power-based energy, the situation will move back into your favour. Uh, for now, you know, if you've got this period of downtime, you've got this period of stagnation, focus on yourself. Read the books. Um, the read the books that I've suggested in other readings, you know. Get into that power-based energy so that when they do come back, you know exactly how to handle the situation with them, with them so that this cycle can break. Okay, that's deck number one. Whee! Okay, that was that was a nice quick one. Okay, let's do deck number two. Hello, my beauties. So, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So, if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later day, or it's possible that you are not part of the strongest mutual energy. And um, if you need to book private readings to look at your individual circumstances, then all the details are in the descri description. This one works on mutual energy. Circumstances has to be private readings. Okay. Think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their people, of their, their, their other half, their lover, their beloved. Their beloved. I love that phrase. A little romanticist in me. So my guy just said over here, um, he just said that with this situation with debt number two, there is a lot of potential possibilities and opportunities that are going to be happening around you. Um, and it doesn't just mean with regard to your person, it means with, with regard to life. And he's saying, can you make sure that you embrace new opportunities that come your way um, so that you don't feel that you are staying still, that you feel that you are moving forward? Okay. Right, can you tell me, will the people watching and their beloved reunite? Will the people watching and their beloved reunite? Don't know if I've shown you this deck. I got this one at the conference as well. I love it. Will they reunite? Poppy, stop it. When your dog listens to you. I tried to get her, I don't know if you just tapped in, but I tried to get her on the camera, but she's so camera shy. Will they reunite? Okay, so you and your person have got a lot of water under the bridge. Um, a lot of stuff has happened between the two of you and you don't really know how this situation can move forward and your person doesn't really know how it can move forward at this moment in time. Um, because there, there has been the difficulty surrounding you both. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of pain. There's been, not all of you, but there's been a little bit of... Um, tit for tat 
that's the best way that's what my, exactly what my guy said there's been a bit of tit for tat with the situation so at this moment in time you are stuck between a rock and a hard place and you both of you don't really know how this situation is going to unravel how this situation is going to unfurl now as time has happened with the two of you you've become um been feeling better in yourself you've been feeling better with regard to the situation you have your moments you have your power moments you have your crappy moments and um, but overall you're actually standing in a better place than where you were at the start of the journey and um, that spirit just gave me that quote about the storm um, I don't know if I said this before in a reading, uh, but in the public, but you know, they say when the storm happens, you're never going to know when you've made it through, whether the storm's actually over, but one thing for certain, you won't be the same person that you were at the start of the storm to where you are at the end. And that is definitely the energy that you guys watching are going through. So you have been going through this massive period of transformation. Um, it's hurt. It has hurt, but you've been standing in your power. You're starting to stand in your power. You're starting to feel better. And you're starting to learn um, about yourself a lot more. And that, to a certain extent, is this element of self-love. You know, people say, oh, self-love will help the relationships. It will help everything. And to be fair, it sounds cliche, but the self-love is key to all more divine relationships. Because, um, you know, we look... It's this Neville Goddard quote, isn't it? That we look for... Um, things on our outside world or a reflection of our inside world so if we're focusing on lack if we're focusing on they don't love me if we're focusing on um anything along those lines it's because it's not it's reflecting on our outside world so we're like oh my god they don't love me or you'll be like oh my god uh, they're not in my life oh my god what if it never happens and um, but what's happening is there is that reflection going into your inside world so a really good way of kind of dealing with that is to do affirmations and um, the strongest affirmations that you will come up with are are I am okay because I am is this very very high frequency uh, manifestation that you can use so you can say to counteract all of that I am loved uh, I am worthy I am fully abundant I am a phenomenal being of light I get all I am all that I need uh, I am aware of all potential opportunities and possibilities etc etc so you can fill in those voids by using those affirmations uh, we would say probably do them twice a day maybe three times a day me being we and me, we being me and guides so you guys are kind of standing in your power but you're feeling a little bit blindsided by it you're not really sure what direction it's going in now what's happening over here is again there has been this element of hurt between the two of you there has been this element of trauma as such and you're both feeling well you're you guys definitely are feeling more kind of stabbed in the back but some of your people are feeling a little bit uh, stabbed in the back as well now spirit is saying that some of your people have pushed you away because they haven't known how to handle the situation they found it very intense they found it very pressured um, and even if you weren't putting that on them that's how they mentally coped with it they thought no you know what it's too much pressure i can't cope i'm going to say something flipping or i'm just going to be an a-hole or i'm just going to ghost you because I can't cope with the pressure of the situation so it left you in the dark but now you're starting to feel like things are coming together which is really good because the better you feel how it kind of works um, and again it's going to sound a little bit cliche but how it kind of works is when you guys start to feel better that you don't really care what the outcome is going to be this is when your par person starts to panic and your person starts to feel that withdrawal feel your energy pull away and when they feel that that is when that movement comes back towards you that's my washing machine so then we have this urgent movement coming in from your person so you guys the more you focus on yourself the more you do your affirmations the more you get rid of this lacking and longing and yearning and you know or everything we just covered there is this immediate movement coming in and it's the knight of swords and this knight of swords is um the fastest mover in the whole of tarot he comes in remember never sexually orientated or gender specific but he comes in all guns blazing ready to kind of put up a fight okay so your person is going to come back towards you with this knight of what knight of swords energy now it looks like from there you guys might have a little bit of an argument uh, you are going to have your chance to say what you need to say spirit are saying because it feels like a lot of you have built up um, a lot of stuff um, that you want to say some of you have even written out your messages in advance before they've got in touch with you which is kind of good manifestation um, but this movement 
may cause a little bit of conflict so don't be be prepared that when they do come back that you're going to be having your guard up a little bit and there is the potential for an argument between the two of you one thing is for certain is that this period of uh, where you are at the moment will come to a close this lack of making choices is going to be reversed and this movement is coming in okay so you will definitely have the chance to speak to your person again all right um but the potential from that is that it could cause this conflicting energy, this tension-based energy, but you will get your chance to say what you want. Um, I just got Taylor Swift, Death by a Thousand Cuts song for you guys watching. So when they reach out to you, once this knight kind of comes in and says, oi, oi, what are you doing? What's going on? How's it going? You have then got a choice to make and you're going to have to make a choice between your emotions and your head okay um, and it's not going to be an easy choice but the thing is the choice will be yours all right and it's not going to be a choice that you're going to make overnight it's not going to be a choice that you're suddenly going to wake up and be like oh my god i want to be with them because they've really hurt you they've really kind of betrayed your trust as such you know the betrayal cards over here they have betrayed your trust or you know even just by the fact that they've disappeared or hurt you there is that sense of betrayal and it's not something that you guys are going to easily overcome but the fact is that it's going to be in your in your court okay so it's going to be your choice on what you want to do about it you will weigh up your choices you will weigh up your decisions and it looks like you will just go with the flow of it okay so instead of giving your person all the answers that they want or they need you will just say you know what you really hurt me i am just going to go with the flow of this situation let's see what happens because i am a high priestess i am standing in my power and um, you've come back to me i'm the one in control and you will be the one that says you know what let's just see what happens some of you will say okay let's try again let's try again um, and you will have that chance for that to happen over here but majority of you even though you can't see it at this moment in time are going to go mm, you need to prove to me with your actions not your words what this relationship is okay and once that happens you have your chance of reconciling and having a reunion um but it's really going to land on you lot watching what you want um the better you feel about it the quicker this will come is there a timing on it um a mutual timing roughly about two to three months okay um but again that is your strongest mutual timing so if you need to look at individual timings just drop me a message and we can get that sorted in single questions or video readings they will make an offer to you okay and it is going to be down to you whether you choose to accept it and and the reason for that is because there's going to be a lot of hurt there's going to be a lot of stuff that has happened in the past and with this conflicting energy coming in once you've said your piece you're going to be a little bit wary about how you want the situation to progress and um, because of this betrayal but you will have that choice, you will have that chance and it looks like you are the one that is going to be calling the shots, whether you choose to be of your person or not, um, that is going to be down to you, but you are the one that will call the shots and they will be the ones that are going to come with this quick movement. Will you get an apology? 50-50, eh. some of you will, some of you won't, don't expect, don't expect an apology, we would say, but you are going to have that chance to have your say about the situation and from there you can decide whether you want this to work or whether you don't so it's all on you it's all on you and um, the more self-work you do the better you will feel okay and um, if you need manifesting plans for this to speed up the process just give me a shout because um we do take uh, we me and guides do tailor-made individual manifesting plans to get the situations moving forward for you and they've got really good success rate so if you do need this situation to move forward we can do manifesting plans as well as just readings as just readings as well as reading and um, it's going to be on you guys but the, the point is you will get your say so will you reunite you will have that opportunity is it something that you're going to want that's down on you but when by the time that it comes around to it and that's step number two. Okay, so if you want me, uh, email is mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Website is mysticlovetarot.com. Uh, I also opened up a Facebook account a couple months back. So I'm trying to get the numbers off on that. So if you can go and hit Mystic Love Tarot, like on Facebook. Instagram's running as normal. Um, and that's it. That is it. So have a really good week. Uh, drop me a message if you need me. Send in lots of love to you all. And be good and be safe. And if you can't be safe, as I say, go go buy a pram. Okay guys, lots of love. Bye.